Hey guys, so I think one of the misconceptions as to who these MetaZoo people are and who's actually investing. So I'm using that term investing because I think it's important to understand there is a difference between people who invest and people who actually just like the card game. Um, MetaZoo investors as this couple, this couple is a very good example of a MetaZoo investor. They had some success early on with MetaZoo. They bought some boxes for 100 and then they went up to 900. Did they ever sell the boxes? No, right? So the boxes are now probably at $40. I'm assuming it's nightfall that they're talking about. And they also, you know, bought in. So, so once they saw the, the stock go up a little bit, they bought more of the stock and they went on the deep end paying up to $5,000 for a original piece of artwork, which coincidentally, a lot of them got dropped on whatnot for dollars, maybe tens of dollars, right? So that was definitely not worth $5,000, but they paid for it. And many, many moons later, they got received it and they kind of blame MetaZoo. So this is a couple who blame some, some, if not all, their financial problems on MetaZoo investments. Now, this is the exact people. So I always kind of wonder, like, who has $8,200 to buy Alpha Investments kit? And according to Alpha Investment, three people bought the kit. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it was more. Um, we know how many people really bought the 6.9 box that was $700. Actually, actually, we might do a live stream there's a dude online, I just found these, his videos get like 20 views, and he bought, and he was like weighing them, he was trying to figure out like if you could weigh the Alpha Investment 6.9 and decide if it would give you a better pin or something. Um, it was pretty outrageous, but maybe we'll live stream. I think he bought eight boxes of it, so he spent $5,600. So in my mind, is like, hey, if you have all this money, you must be somewhat intelligent, right? Because you must at least have a financial wealth advisor. Like I don't spend, you know, they're spending thousands of dollars, thousands, five, in this case, $5,000 at one go on MetaZoo product. I would imagine that you have your finances pretty well handled for you to be able to afford that luxury. And, and don't get me wrong, it absolutely 100% is a luxury to have that extra money around. And then come find out that, wait a second, these guys are not financially intelligent. They're not financial. They're, there's other things in their lives that is like they're just broke. They, I believe this couple had to file for bankruptcy. It's very similar to how MetaZoo is currently filing for bankruptcy, right? So there seems to be like a trend here of financially irresponsible people investing in financially irresponsible businesses. And if MetaZoo was such a great business, it wouldn't need to file for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. It would be able to pay people back. And that's, I think, you know, that's the, the true hallmark of a good business, I think, is when things suffer, you pay your vendors, you pay your employees, you pay your artists, you pay people what they're owed, even at the cost of your problem, right? Instead of, you know, raising, I mean, there's a theory out there, a conspiracy, that I think as a lawyer, I think this is correct. That these people raised money. So Mike Waddell went to um, his whatnot expert, Bailey, and they raised a bunch and they sold a bunch of MetaZoo. I think they raised $30,000 uh, for legal fees. And now that lawyer is probably going to be against MetaZoo because they don't remember one of the bigger debtors is the MetaZoo player base. They haven't received their native streamer kits. Some of them ordered multiple of those $100 streamer kits. They have none, no, nobody's received a single one of them. Um, the, the player who won $50,000, he hasn't received any money. So one of the interesting parts is they, they actually, the MetaZoo community paid for Mike Waddell's attorney to then make sure that they don't get the product they already pre-ordered. And this is not me joking. This is just logic, right? So Mike Waddell raised $30,000 selling original art that the artist didn't get a chunk of. That went straight to his lawyer. That's not MetaZoo's lawyer. That's Mike Waddell's lawyer. Do you understand the difference? There, there's a very big difference. When this is all said and done, Met Mike Waddell will have nothing to do with MetaZoo. I will make certain of it because I will be an active bidder. 
And as an active bidder, you cannot allow the same bankrupt because then he'll do it again and again and again, right? He'll just, you know, like how many times do you want not pay vendors? And anyone buying MetaZoo, and, and this is a real discussion, is going to have a really tough time because the people, it's probably going to be blacklisted. I mean, when you don't pay somebody money, why should they work with you again? You, you're literally, you've you've broken like, Every promise you broke, like one of the biggest promises to the MetaZoo community was these native streamer kits. Hey, trust us to deliver you this kit. Give us the money early, and we're going to spend it in a wise and functional way, and then we're going to deliver the kit later. The fact that they can't deliver that and are using the MetaZoo community money to now hire a lawyer to do the bankruptcy for the specific reason of not paying out what they owe or not creating i mean at this point in time it's just a mess but yeah this couple is a very good indication of who is actually buying meta they're not very wealthy they're massively in debt they have incredibly poor financial understanding um they filed for bankruptcy before i believe um there's like a part about them talking about bankruptcy this is the exact meta zoo demographic um you know and i couldn't I couldn't imagine, like, how do they have all this money? Like, it's just loans, guys. It's it's easy to get money. Just charge, max out your credit card and file for bankruptcy. And do this over and over again. And then eventually you won't get any, your credit will be so bad. No one will lend you a credit card. But until that time, hey, let the good times roll, right? Let, let's roll, baby. Let's be that MetaZoo hype. I mean, MetaZoo... I really wanted to know, like, why would people want to invest in MetaZoo when they could have invested in, I don't know, Pokemon, right, and done really well? I mean, Alpha Investment, I'm going to tell you, Pokemon is on a massive bull run. I've never seen a bull run like this before for Pokemon, right? Um, and you missed out on it. You missed out on Evolving Skies. You missed out on, on Lugia V. Alt. I mean, every v Alt is, like, I mean, it's shot up a ton in price. And let, let's be like, let's be real honest about here. Like, you bought MetaZoo because you wanted to get wealthy fast, right? You didn't give a shit about the game. You didn't give a shit about any of that. These people bought MetaZoo because they saw that it had gone up a lot in price. It went from a hundred dollars to nine hundred dollars. Did they sell it? No, they kept it. And in fact, they accumulated more during this period in time, which is a sin beyond beyond all sins, right? I, if something goes from one hundred to nine hundred dollars, guys, don't worry about it going to like a thousand, ten thousand dollars. You need to sell, man. You need to sell, right? Um, it is time to sell, and I, I say this with you know all good intentions. Like, you cannot continue, right? Um, you cannot continue to play this game. Where, like, something is not, if something goes up that much, it's time to sell. It is not time to continue to buy more. Anyway, guys.